friends welcome to Roha's world in today's video we will learn about Jolly Phonics Jolly Phonics is a teaching program which helps children read and write in English using the synthetic phonics synthetic phonics is a type of phonics that involves no guessing like when we used to go to school our teachers used to write different words on the board or they used flashcards and children used to recognize the whole word by sight for example they used to learn how to spell the word cat like this c-a-t cat they used to recognize the word by sight and later they used to break down the word into smaller units of sound whereas in synthetic phonics the first thing that is taught is the letter sounds children are taught the letter sounds individually and then they use the blending technique to put the sounds together to form different words for example the child knows three different sounds k a t and he can put the sounds together in different ways to form different words like if he uses k as a beginning sound a as the middle sound and t as the ending sound he can form the word cat he can just move the letters around to form another word that is act so it is basically the blending of phonemes or sounds to make a word which enables a child to read in my last video i told you that shwa is when you make an unnecessary utterance of the a sound at the end of any sound like for example the letter m has the sound m not m when you say m you're mispronouncing it and this is used in analytic phonics so in synthetic phonics pronunciation is very important in jolly phonics schemes we are using synthetic phonics kids who are taught through jolly phonics have better performance on reading spelling and literacy compared to those who are taught conventionally or through analytic phonics Jolly Phonics is for kids from ages 3 to 6 and it is a fun and child-centered approach and is used by many schools throughout the UK and other countries. Now we are going to learn what Jolly Phonics is and how it is taught. The English language has over 44 sounds and in Jolly Phonics we cover 42 letter sounds which includes the letters of the English alphabet from A to Z and digraphs. Digraphs are when two letters combine together to make one single sound like sh, ch, th, w. These are all digraphs. Now these letter sounds are split into seven groups in Jolly Phonics. Let's talk about each group one by one. So in the first group we have these sounds s, a, E, p, m. In group 2, we have the sounds k, k. The sound for C and K is same. Then we have E, H, R, M, T. In group 3, we have the sounds K, O, E, L, F, P. Don't say f, it's f. In group 4, we have some digraphs and the sound of the letter J. So, group 4 consists of the following sounds A, Ch, O, I, E, OR. Group 5 Z, W, Ng, v, u, u. Group six. Z, x, ch, sh, th, d. Group seven. Q. Now Q is not taught as a single sound. It combines with the letter U to form the sound Q. So group seven consists of the following sounds. K, ow, oi, u, er, r. Now there is a reason 
why in jolly phonics the letters are put in different groups and are in a particular sequence instead of alphabetical order the reason is when children are taught these six sounds s a t e p n they are learning two vowel sounds and four consonant sounds which can form the maximum number of three letter words like for example they can form the word sit pen nap tin tip there are lots of words that they can form and if the letter sounds are taught in an alphabetical order like a book t e f i don't think the children would be able to form many words so this is the reason why they taught these sounds first s a t e p n these are the first sound that the child is being taught in jolly phonics now there are five skills which are taught in jolly phonics and each skill is very important the first skill that is being taught is learning the letter sounds each sound that is being taught has a story a song and an action the second skill that is being taught is the letter formation in which children use different sensory methods like songs actions and kids learn how to form and write different letters The third skill that is being taught through Jolly Phonics is blending in which the children learn how to blend different sounds together to form new words. The next one is identifying the sounds in words or segmenting. We have covered these two terms in our previous video as well. So in segmenting or identifying the sounds in words, kids are taught the 42 main letter sounds. This includes the alphabet sounds as well as the digraphs. which we talked about earlier the last skill that is taught in jolly phonics is tricky words tricky words are those words which have irregular spellings and the child cannot use the segmenting or blending technique to form those words for example in the word one or two child cannot use the segmenting and blending technique to form these two words he has to recognize the words using sight the teacher can show a flash card or write the word on the board and the child learns the word or memorizes it through reinforcement or through sight so these are tricky words now in our next video roha is going to show you how these activities should be done in the classroom or if you're teaching at home your homeschooling so we are going to share some play based activities through which you can teach all these jolly phonics skills to your children i hope you liked the video and you understood everything if still there is anything that confuses you you can write a comment and i am going to get back to you very soon you can hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get a notification of our next video take care goodbye